Hi y'all, this is Becky Racer. Uh, follow me on uh, Becky's, Becky's Junk Journals on Instagram and on YouTube. You'll find me there. I've been cleaning out my studio lately and um, I found paper doilies all over the studio and different places. And I gathered them up and look how many doilies. <laughs> I've just got a ton of them. And um, I probably will never use up this many doilies in a million years, but I have decided that I'm going to find some way to um, use up these larger doilies uh, and make them um, easier to store because uh, right now the way I'm, I have been storing them apparently is not successful because I didn't know I had all these. And it was kind of a fun surprise, but anyway, today's video is all about doilies and um, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I came up with. Um, I tried um, gluing down or I tried folding the plain doilies in half and then folding them up for a pocket and it did not, it, it just was not uh, sturdy enough. Uh, when if you were using this like a pocket it would get torn up real easy. If any of you have ever dyed doilies like these are dyed they get um, real diff it's real difficult to get them um, once they've been wet it's really difficult to get them where they're not shredded up uh, and uh, they get torn up and shredded up really easy once they've been wet. So um, what I decided to do with these uh, little lovelies was to glue them to um, paper and I'm using um, regular um, colored copy paper and this was my favorite. It's just regular A4 copy paper and um, the, it, that is colored, it came in colors. and. Um, I got this at Hobby at uh, Office Depot for uh, less than five dollars for a ream of it. Uh, it's their house brand, but uh, it's real lightweight, and it, it, I liked it for gluing doilies on. Um, I also tried it out with some regular scrapbook paper that has the you know one-sided scrapbook paper, um, and I'll show you how that turned out. So I glue them to the paper and then I cut them to a usable size. Those giant placemat size um, were too big to fit on any paper so I ended up just doing them half and half and um, then I trimmed everything down. This is a, another way that I did the um, placemat size. It's, um, I just took the eight and a half by 11 paper and I glued the top of the placemat, squared up, up there and then just cut it in half. And then I'm gonna um, end up making uh, some cards or cutting them up to make tags with those. This size of the oval was my favorite. I'm gonna use these for the center of, uh, I think they'd look real good in the center of a, <clears throat> Uh, of a uh, journal, uh, so I, I think they, they're going to be just perfect as long as I have it wide enough that way. Uh, but anyway, that's what I liked about that. Here's another one that I did on scrapbook paper, and um, before it makes usable, I'll have to do something with the uh, white on the back. This is um, the one that I folded up, or I tried it out, and it, and it folded up like this, see, and I like that as a pocket, and that would slip right up underneath a, a belly band, um, really nice, and fill the whole page, practically, so I like that, um, and this one is half of half of the doily and I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with this yet um, I could cut it down and um, just use the top half uh, I could even I don't know 
I'm gonna I'm gonna play with these once I get a bunch of them glued up I'm gonna start folding and I will be right back hello I'm back um, here's what I came up with so far in the uh, folds I decided that I really like these large ones um, made into full pages so here's the uh, oval doily um, that I folded in half and then I folded back like this then what I will do is I will put a drop of glue right there uh, and some little decoration and have two tuck points on either side and I liked this one this one is that giant oval doily I had um, this is uh, probably about 60 years old this doily it's got uh, orchids on it anyway um, I got it I picked them up a bag in, in a resale shop but this is another page that uh, I decided I liked it full page and I'll use these in the center of signatures most likely here's another one I like this blue paper behind it here's another page here's the large rectangular placemat doily and by the way I used my um, Elmer's extreme glue stick to glue these down uh, to glue I glued the, the base paper first and then laid the doily over it and then gently smoothed it out that I found like that was the easiest way but even with that I came up with some little areas that had air bubbles that didn't uh, get glued down and if you've got boy mine's looking nasty but if you've got art glitter glue with this fine point tip you can just poke a little dot of glue right there and it'll take care of it I found that's the easiest way that I found for me but anyway uh, this one was on scrapbook paper so I ink the back and the marks that you see in the paper um, were from the um, marks that uh, bumpiness that was on my work table so when I rubbed the ink all over it that's what way it came out and I kind of like it then all I did was just ink the edges to make my page same here inked on that side so I've got some pages ready to go to decorate and here's some others that I came up with I had lots of ideas but I ran out of uh, doilies that I had glued down already but this is the way it looked just on some scrapbook paper cut into a square then um, I glued a little bit of uh, cardstock on the back of it rounded the corners ink the edges and that's what I have and I like it it's cute this one is just one that I folded up ink the edges and fold it in for a little journaling spot so you can journal on the inside then decorate the outside here's one of the larger round doilies that I had and for this one I just folded it in twice and I've got I'll glue it at the bottom right here to hold that down and then I'll have a pocket there and a tuck spot there here um, the back looks as pretty as the front on these this one same thing I just um, it was uh, I some um, scrapbook paper that I glued the doily to and so I just inked for that area then I'll glue right here and hold that down and then I'll have a tuck spot here and a pocket there and the back looks as pretty as the front and uh, I can't wait to decorate these these look like so much fun here is a journaling card that I made 
um, I used one of my truly vintage, probably more than 50 year old doilies with um, fancy orchids on it. And I got a journaling spot on the inside and um, pretty front and back. And that'll just fit in a pocket or in a belly band. Same thing with these. Since the back is pretty as the front, I'll, I'll just put these in belly bands or in big pockets. Or I can use them for um, to send stuff to ha for happy mail. Uh, I don't know. I can think of lots of ways to use these. I bet you could too. And here's uh, one of the envelopes that I made. And this one was just an oval doily. And I folded it in. And I folded it up. And then I've got an envelope. Um, this one, I have decided that I'm going to use it as a fold-out journaling spot. So I will glue down the back of this to a page, and then it will open up like that for a journaling spot. The other way I thought to use it was to trim right here and trim this flap off and then just glue the sides here and here to make it a true envelope. And the last thing I came up with, I took one of those round doilies and I cut it up and I made what I'm going to use as belly bands. This is the way it fit together. This is what it was before. Then I cut it up. I'm going to use this, make this into a journaling card. And these I'm going to use for... Um, decorations at the top of a page um, or to make uh, tuck spots or to make little belly bands uh, where you can tuck things through there and I thought that was really nice. I have lots more ideas. haven't had a chance to get to them yet but I'll show you when I get them. Thanks for watching.